different this week. Thumbs up if you have been writing a personal narrative about your spring break. Oh my goodness! Yeah. That's so many personal narratives. Put your thumbs down. Thumbs up if you miss your how-to books. Oh, I'm sure you do. Okay, put your thumbs down. Well, sometimes writers have to take a break and switch to a different type of writing. And so this week, we wanted to hear all about what you did over spring break, so we switched to a different type of writing. And we'll go back to our how-to books, because those are very, very important, as you are good teachers. So we have to take off our teaching hat, and we have to put on our storytelling hat. Very good. So I wonder, what does a storyteller's hat sound like? What does a storyteller do? Do they say, first you do this, and then you do this, and then you do this? Is that a storyteller? No. 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 That's my scientist hat, isn't it? That is my, my teaching hat. But my storyteller says what? Maybe they say, first we went here, and then we went here, and then this happened, right? Yeah. yeah. You tell about things that happened to you, and they have people involved, right? Your personal narrative is all about who? Writing. Our, about ourselves, right? You're writing about yourself. Personal means me. Can you say personal Capital means life. me? Alright, we're going to write one together today. You're going to help me write my own personal narrative about spring break. And you didn't experience it with me, but I'm sure that your writing brains can help me add to my writing. So I'm thinking, thinking, thinking about what I could write about. Well, I could write about how to have a good spring break. Is that a good personal narrative? How to have a good spring break? Yeah. How, how to have a good spring break? I'm going to teach you about how to have a good spring break. Do I have my storyteller's hat on or my teaching hat on? Teaching. Oh, I had my teaching hat on. Oh, let me take it off. Let me put my storyteller's hat on. I bet I could tell you about how I went to the Lego Land Center with my niece. Would that be a story? Yeah. Oh, that would be a story. Okay. Yeah. Let me think. Of, let me think about what else I could tell. I could tell you about all the things you could do over spring break to be really, really fun. Is that a story? No. No, that's teaching it. Oh, let me go back. Let me go back. Okay, storyteller. Story I could tell you about how I took my dogs to the dog park and played with them for hours and hours and hours. Is that a story? Yes. Oh, good. Hmm. I could tell you every single place you can go in Fort Worth that's free on spring break. Is that teaching or is that story? Story. Teaching. That's teaching. That's teaching. Oh my goodness. Let me go back. Or I could tell you about how I went to the aquarium over spring break. And that would be a story, right? I would be I could teach you about the fish, but I would be telling a story about how I enjoyed it also with my niece. So a story has a person in it and it's all about me. And you're not teaching. You're not teaching. You're not gonna say, first you do this, and then you do this, and then you do this. And you don't say that. Uh, that would be a big no-no. That's a big no-no for how to. All right, so let me think. Which one do I want to do? I think I'm going to choose Legoland because that was my favorite thing I did over spring break. So, I was going to go to Legoland for my birthday, but I didn't. Great. So I want you to think about what what, what happened that first. Thing too. Hmm. What do you think I did first? Did I just go in there? No. Mom. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. I got there, and we had to drive a long way. We had to drive 45 minutes to get to Legoland, and that was a long drive. So that's the first thing that happened to me. And then we get there. We bought our tickets. And we had to wait in line for a whole hour. St 
standing in line for a whole hour. So that's the second thing that happened to me. And then we finally got to go in and play on all these awesome things. So the, a couple of things happened, right? So first I had a really long drive, right? And then I had to wait in a really long line. How long was it? How do you five it was an hour. It was an hour long. How, how, long do, you how do you think I was feeling? How long how do you think I was feeling? Bored. Bored, sad, frustrated. I was hungry because it was almost lunch time. And then how do you think I felt when I finally got to the end of the line? I was about to go inside. Excited. Oh, I was excited. So I better put that in my writing. I think I'm ready to write. Are you are you ready to write with me? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's go. Put on your storyteller yeah. Alright, okay. Alright. Now I have to figure out if I can draw some straight lines for our boxes. And then you draw some lines to write for your words. You're right. Let's see. Miss Hickman is good. Miss Hickman is good at drawing straight that? lines. Yeah. All right, so we better say, say, say. Sketch, sketch, sketch. Right, right, right. All right, so right, right, we already right, right. say. Color, 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 color. Color, color, color. I like that. <laughs> you have to write that. Color, color, color. That's funny. Miss Hickman taught us that color wax. I wonder who can tell me how many pages they think I need to make. Forty-five and fifth. Oh, think about it, yes. <laughs> How many things did I tell you happened? Three. Three. I'm looking for people like this with their sitting crisscross up sauce with their hands raised. Go ahead, sweetie. Six. Six pages? That would be a long story. Can we can we make less? Because that's a long time. I might be writing for a really long time. We might be here through recess. And I think you guys want to go to recess, right? Yeah. yeah. What's a lower number than six? Four. Three. Three or four? That sounds good. Let's start with three and see what happens. Yes. Okay. Oh. All right. I'm ready to say again, just so that I know what goes on each page. I'm going to touch my pages to remind me. Okay. First, what do I need to say? You have to say, say, say what you're going to write. Yeah, yeah, but what happened? Can I just go ahead and say we started driving? No. no. Does that tell my reader what no. I'm talking about? No. Had a long drive. You know what? I want my reader Draw. to be really excited about what I'm going to tell them. So I'm going to tell them I'm writing about spring break by saying I had the best time on spring break. But it started with a long, long car ride. Does that sound good for the first time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I have to tell them about what? What happened after I got there? Yeah, you had, had a long line. line. Had a long yeah. Line. So we went to Legoland and we waited in a long line. It was one hour long. I was feeling frustrated, hungry, and bored. Very good, Olivia. Those were great adjectives. <laughs> All right. This page turned. Movies tonight. Finally, you watched the Lego Man and the Lego and uh, the movie reader. Now you watched it. Uh, you have been there, haven't you? Huh? <coughs> I yeah, made it. Have it. I have to do Finally, I made it to the end of the line, and we were so excited to go play in Lego Land. Right? That's my last page. Does that sound good? Yeah. Good. What do I need to do first? Write. Do I write? Sketch. I just say, say, say. Sketch. 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 Good. Do I need a sketch? This is the hardest part for Mrs. Curbs because I, sh I need some lessons from Miss Bolin. She's a really, really good sketcher, isn't she? Where All right. Is Let's see. So we are going to go... What am I doing on this page again? You had a very, very, long, very, long, very long drive. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that's right. I need to probably minute. Yeah, I drive. probably need to draw some type of car, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's called a Oh, little, that looks like yeah, a good car. car. You're good at making cars. cars. Oh, thanks. That looks like a good yeah. car. Sure. Yeah, you should get Miss it in your window. Miss it can make good cars, but she can't make a car like that. <laughs> what? Thanks. Okay. This looks good. 
one hour. We had to wait in a very long line for one hour. We were what, Olivia? Bored. We were hungry. Bored. Bored and frustrated. And frustrated. Man, this story is good. What should I put at the end of that sentence? Punctuation. Mark. Punctuation. 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 What kind of punctuation mark? A period. A period? A period? A exclamation, exclamation mark. mark. Exclamation mark. You are the exclamation mark king today, my friend. <laughs> All right, am I ready to go? Lego train. I need to add something about Lego one train. more, one more sentence. Lego. So when I was in Legoland, I saw the Lego train. That's really cool. Hey, like you. outside the door. Okay, I'm ready to add my last sentence so we can be done. We had fun. Oh, it's not on your work wall. Hmm. Had. I want a friend to come help me write what? this word. So I'm looking for someone who has been so good listening to all of my writing this whole time to come share the we pen do have with hands. me. I know. It's in the word. It's, uh, it's over here. Yeah, it's over here. Gabby. H -A -G -E. You know what, Gabby? It's, it's over here somewhere. You have, you have half. I know. That's so close. It's half. Gabby, will you come up here? That's how you spell it. H. Can you put this oh. back up there? This is have instead of had. I know they're so close. They're so close. They're closer. I thought it was have. They have a D. That's not have. At the end. Yeah, it's have. Yeah. Let's see. <coughs> That's not. We had. I want to say so much fun, and I want to make it really exciting. What could I do with my word? Put fun. We had fun. We awesome had fun. fun. Do awesome fun. We had Lego. awesome fun. We had awesome fun. We had a lot of fun. That's good. So much fun. Playing. With. Why goes? Yes, sir. We'll have to go back to that one. All right, let's go back. Okay, readers, get your get your fingers out because we're about to read my story and see if it makes sense. Make sure that it's a story and not a teaching book. Spring break was very fun. First, I had to go on a long car ride. We had to wait in a very long line for one hour. We were bored and frustrated. Finally, we made it inside Legoland. We had a lot of fun playing with Legos. What do you think? The, the, the end. Was that a story or a teaching book? Let me let tell your neighbor next 
to you if you think it was teaching you something or telling you a story. Are you ready to go back to your table? Yes. 